<laughs> oh my god oh all of this is drugstore makeup drop down <laughs> My name is Akosia Benhini. I've done this intro over a thousand times, so I am honestly kind of tired. But if you're new, thank you so much for showing up here. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that because we're almost at 500 subscribers. So we need to do that so we can grow. But in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite drugstore products. I'm gonna be doing my makeup and sharing with you drugstore product that I love to do my makeup for fall season, for every time, literally for every time of the day. These are just products that are like bomb.com. These are products that are good. These are products that you can pair side by side with luxury makeup items and still get like good use, you know what I mean? So in today's video, I'll just be sharing them with you doing my makeup and all of that stuff so if you want to keep on watching if you want to know how this look would turn out then definitely keep on watching but yeah let's get right into the video so we're gonna go ahead and prime the face and for I have a few <laughs> favorite drugstore primers that I love but the one that I'd say that I gravitate towards the most is the Maybelline Blair Stick Primer this particularly is a pore minimizing primer and I have large pores in the center part of my face, so I usually like to use this for those areas. Primers are like, you, you should use primers for what they are meant to be used for. If it says pore minimizing, use it in areas where you have pores. If you don't have pores, if you don't have large pores like myself, then you don't need a pore minimizing primer. Maybelline, I believe, has like a lot of primers, different ranges of primers that works for different skin types. So Maybelline is a brand that, Maybelline is a good brand. Maybelline is a brand that we all know. <laughs> so as you guys can see, I'm just concentrating in the center part of my face where I have large pores. Next, I'm going to go in with my foundation for foundation, the drugstore foundations that I love. I absolutely have been loving these products back to back. They are the NYX makeup foundations. They have like different, different foundations. The one that I'm going to use in this video is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop NYX Full Coverage Foundation. This particular one is in the shade, oh, I lost my cover and now I don't seem to. Oh, this is in the shade Warm Walnut. NYX is amazing when it comes to drugstore makeup brands that you can actually compare with luxury brands. The Born to Glow, my absolute fave. I'll do a whole demo on this foundation so that you guys see how it looks like. But it's the best, the absolute best. It's my winter shade and this is my summer shade. And we're almost done with summer. So I'm going to go ahead and use this before I can't use it anymore. This, if you, you do use me as a shade reference, this is a perfect shade match for, like I said, it's a perfect shade for summer because it only looks okay in summer. It makes me look kind of dark in winter. But for also for days when I want to go super heavy on my concealers and super light under my eyes, I try to use foundations that are slightly darker. You guys know that I love foundations that are like more toned down just so i can be able to go ham with my concealers because that's that's my routine that's what i do i like for my under eye to look very bright but very awake the brush that i'm using is the aspect edge foundation brush from real techniques it's a very very good blending brush for foundation it gives you proper proper professional coverage so that's what I'm using. In all honesty, let me just say that if you don't know how to blend foundations with brushes, if you're not so good with using your brushes, this brush, you don't have to do any job whatsoever. I feel like it's been shaped in a way that you just need to stipple your way around and it just does a good job with like putting together the foundation. Do you guys see this job? I just need to go over this with my beauty blender. I don't even need to do that, but I will do that because it's something that I do anyways. 
but this foundation brush is legit it if you're a beginner if you're into like if you want to try some brushes from drugstore that you can just purchase at walgreens walmart anywhere the real techniques brushes they are very 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 good for a beginner beginner friendly kind of kind of looks so it does have a red undertone but that's okay with me i think i like my foundations to be a little more <laughs> red done a little more yellow because that's what my undertone is looking like now for concealers the drugstore concealers that i absolutely love i use them every day back to back <laughs> they are the elf concealers i have them in three different shades these are my highlight concealers and this is my contour concealer the highlight ones are in the shade deep caramel and light beige and then the contour shade is in rich ebony so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with light that's what i currently do i use the light shade in the very corner of my under eye literally just like one like that and one thing about these concealers that you guys should know is that they do dry out very fast so you want to work your way around them as quick as you can I know I look funny, I look like a ghost, but that's okay, because <laughs> we're gonna make it okay. I'm gonna go in with the second concealer, which is Deep Caramel, and this is going to be the overall concealer for my under eye, so. And because these concealers seem to like dry out really quick, I try as much as possible to do my under eye first, just so that I don't have to just so that the other areas don't dry out on me so i do my under eye first and then i go ahead and do all the other areas that needs to be highlighted they really do dry out quick so don't take it for a joke girl come too close because my camera doesn't do too much justice when you get too close to it but see coverage it gives you pretty full coverage like it gives you full full coverage and it's matte it dries down really quick so sometimes you'd wish you don't set your under eye but you have to set your under eye so i'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye the powder that i love you guys have probably have seen this a lot of times but it's the s pan loose face powder this one is in the shade naturally neutral i start i start very light at least that's what i think and i just press the powder in so even before i do any like even if i'll do any baking whatsoever this is what i still do i do this before i leave any powder on because i feel like i honestly feel like setting your under eye before doing baking does a whole lot of difference rather than just like baking right away it doesn't work for me i don't know it works for people but it don't work for me so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows this is the nyx micro pencil micro brow pencil this is in the shade Espresso. It comes with a wand and the pencil as well. So it's super easy to use when you're on the go. And it's not so deep. So even though I like my brows, pretty, pretty outlined. But yeah, I'm going to do one brow so that you guys see the coverage. Okay, my brows are done now. Now I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow. I'd say that my favorite eyeshadow for like drugstore, super affordable, very, very, very affordable actually. They will be the e.l.f. bite size eyeshadow. These are like, how didn't you guys bring this before? Because these are like very easy. You can just slip them into your purse, like easy going. They have different shades for different occasions. So for daytime, I am definitely going to be going with cream and sugar. This is like a nude, 
cute little nude palette comes with like nudes and gold so it's also pretty versatile you can use it daytime and nighttime depending on how you do the eyeshadow so i'm probably just going to be doing a mono mono type of eyeshadow and then putting some sort of glitter in my corner so that's why i do it's not an eyeshadow look really it's just about the products so i'm using the same elf to do my eye area to prime my eye area this is a lighter shade so this is going to help my eyeshadow color to pop up more i said these concealers are pretty matte they dry down like really quick so you don't need to do too much you don't have to set it if you don't want to but i'm just gonna go ahead and place the brown shade on all over my lid because that's what i'm doing i'm trying to get like a mono monochrome shade I know I said that I wasn't going to do an eyeshadow look but it just kept coming like it was just coming at me so I had to do it but you guys saw the process it was a very quick type of eyeshadow look for mascara the only mascara that I love from drugstore no it's not the only let me just be honest that's not the only but the one that I'm currently loving is the covergirl exhibitionist mascara this is the exhibitionist on sunset it has different exhibitionists different different but this particular one is the uncensored mascara and i like it because look at the wand the wand are like pretty separated it has it's not together the the hairs here are not like clumped up so you see that this is going to give you a very natural looking type of lashes you're able to just use this to comb through. Oh, I was talking. Let's do this eye. Then now for Kajal, if you're a Kajal type of person, I love the Maybelline Colossal Kajal. That's literally the only Kajal that I use. Because Kajals are like eyeliners. Like, I mean, this is an eyeliner. I call it a kajal because it's a Muslim thing. It's their thing. They literally brought this thing into existence. We didn't know jack about it. So it's their thing. So it's a kajal. <laughs> but this particular one, I feel like I can trust. I, I'm very sensitive around my eyes. So I would hardly not use any eyeliner. But it does give your eye an extra oomph. Like it gives your makeup look, the eye look. Oh, let me just show you guys. It definitely makes a difference. Look at this eye. And then look at this eye. I'm even looking at myself on the mirror. I'm like, this eye is so elevated. Look at, do you see that? And then look at this eye. It's dead and gone. <laughs> So yeah, that's the difference. It makes it, it brings like your eyes to life. Yeah, we are almost there, guys. Relax. Now we're gonna set the whole face. I've been using this product for how long? For a long time. I don't think that I've used any other setting powder since I started doing makeup. I honestly don't think, and I've been doing makeup for for like a good close to ten years. So you guys should know. The product that I have been using and loving is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Press Powder. This is in the shade 370. This is my shade. Winter, summer, any shade. It just works good. It helps to even out my foundation shades. It's literally the perfect powder, perfect powder for my face. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I'm also using the e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush because my powder brush is dirty so that's what it is but you see you guys will see look look at these areas of my face my pores are beginning to show up again because obviously that's nature and natural life so that's okay but see what the powder will do to it do you guys see 
gone <laughs> this powder oh and see my under eye is bright but this powder will just bring it all together get your act together this powder is my life <laughs> literally it's like the highlight of my makeup every time that i do my makeup i know that this powder will fix it when i feel like every other product is not going so well i'm like you know what it's okay my setting powder will do it <laughs> and she does she does a good job forget to set your brow concealers because when they look creamy they don't look cute they do not look cute whatsoever if you did see that before and now oh baby <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and use blush the one and only blush that i have been using and loving <laughs> but this is the blush that i've currently been loving i am currently loving it's the nika k dual blush it comes with the orange orange and pink blush but i use the orange blush that girls orange blush is our thing if you're light that's different but if you are dark then you should definitely be looking at orange blushes because really that's the only thing that is going to make your skin look a lot more flattery let me show you so i'm gonna take my blush brush this is from sonia kashuk it's amazing <laughs> so i'm just going to smile i do go in a lot because that's the only way you actually see the difference if you're beast up you 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 know like makeup is all about blending it's it's all about how you're going to place the product and then blend it out so i place it on my cheek and then drag it alongside the perimeters of my face just to give my face this like really nice warmth and it makes a whole lot of difference like i go very hard on my cheek area because that's the part that you need to really see the blush and then around my the perimeters of my face i just like sweep it around play around with it but also make sure that i am blending you can see look at this side of my face and then look at this side that doesn't have the blush that blush does make a difference like i thought blush was for only white people it's a lie orange blush is for us like hmm. you want elevated makeup add blush <laughs> oh my god hmm oh oh all of this is drugstore makeup drop down <laughs> okay now so to set the whole face i'm gonna go ahead and take my maybelline lasting fix this is the setting spray that everybody is talking and raving about and using so i got it as well but i think it does a good job at like holding your makeup together throughout the day is for 18 16 hour it's a 16 hour finish wear and then it gives you a matte finish as well so that's what we're trying to do here so i'm just gonna go ahead and cover my eye area because this whole eyeshadow is matte and this will make it wet and you don't want to do that so oh makeup is a fun process to do you should enjoy the process that's the only way it's going to turn out looking good but if you're not enjoying the process and you want the makeup to look good after, then girl, what are you doing? For what? It needs to look good because you need to enjoy the process. So enjoy the process and that's the only way you're going to see results. It doesn't matter what kind of product you're using. While my lash glue is still in the process of getting ready, I'm going to go ahead and use some highlighter. The drugstore highlighter that I love. I broke it, you know, and I see the Wet n Wild blazing berry if you go into any store just look for wet and wild blazing berry it's like a rose gold high highlighter i love it so much it's broken i can't put it together i've used it so much so the one that i'm also loving right now is the milani berry and more baked powder blush this is a blush as well as a highlighter it has like you guys see how it looks like it has the whole shimmery thing going on there and it comes with a brush which i don't know who they thought would use 
but yeah i'm just going to go ahead this will give you a very subtle highlight see very very subtle and it has like a pink hue to it so Lashes are done now. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. That is literally the last thing that we'll do. I am just going to use a regular pencil, dark brown pencil, to line my lip. I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Lipstick Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Nudist. If you follow me on Instagram, you should know that I love th this particular shade of lipstick. They're very good. They're matte. And then I'm going to go ahead and top it up with the NK Makeup Lip Gel with Vitamin E. This lip gel, everybody owns some by now, if I'm sure. Like, it's very popular. It's also hands down a good gloss so yeah very glossy <laughs> this is literally the finished look i'm gonna go ahead and fix my hair i honestly don't know if i can fix my hair this look was supposed to be about the makeup but my hair in itself is a mess so i don't know but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fix my hair, maybe put on some earrings and then come back and show you guys the finished look. Okay guys, so this is literally the finished look. Ignore my hair and the lace and everything. I have to take off the hair today and wash it anyways. But like I said, this makeup look is really about the makeup look and not the hair, it's about the look and the product. So ignore this hair, ignore this lace, don't let it bother you, but yeah. This is literally the finished look. I want you guys to look at the finish of all the products that I've used today. The coverage, the finish. Would you tell that this is drugstore? No, until after like 12 hours or 6 hours when they start to break down. That's when you can tell. These products are like side by side to luxury luxury makeup products you know are definitely these are the products that if you tell me to compare to luxury products i would confidently pick out of my stash and compare so i probably one time when i have like enough luxury product products i will do like a side by side makeup look for you guys to see how they both look on our faces but really this is it and i'm in love with the look i'm in love with the finish i'm in love with how matte my whole face is it doesn't look too powdery it doesn't even look powdery you know like it looks like skin the blush is just the highlight of the whole makeup look i told you guys like blush definitely does make a whole lot of difference do you see mm, what <laughs> i also wanted to pull my hair back so that you guys will be able to see like you know like proper coverage so i feel very cute by the way <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video if you want to know everything about the products if you want links to these products they are definitely going to be in the description box below also you can just buy them at your 